Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ. Have you ever wondered yourself, trailer bait or trailer hook? There seems to be a lot of different opinions among professional anglers out there, and I really wanna dig into this one, so stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Before we get into the video, this video is brought to you by the Bass Hat, which is this hat that I'm wearing here. It has a really unique wooden bass patch on the top. So if you click on the link in the description below, you can pick one of these hats up and it really helps support the Bass Fishing HQ channel. So this is gonna be kind of my personal opinion on whether I think you should use a trailer bait or a trailer hook, whether you're fishing a spinner bait or a buzz bait. You hear a lot of different opinions out there on the internet. For instance, I think Ish Monroe, professional angler, he's big on using a trailer hook and he says that you always need to use a trailer hook. Now, you look at guys like Jason Christie and Jason Christie, who's known for fishing a spinner bait, really likes to use a trailer bait. So what is the best option? What's gonna hook more fish? You just really wanna hook more bass. More fish that hit your spinner bait or your buzz baits, you wanna hook more of them. So which setup is basically gonna help you to catch more bass? I actually think that a trailer bait works pretty much in 80 to 90% of situations. I think that there's two different situations where you actually wanna use a trailer hook instead of a trailer bait. And I'm gonna let you know what those two situations are at the end of this video. But first, why do I think a trailer bait is better? So guys, if you didn't know this about me, which you probably didn't, I used to do tree work for a living. I used to take down trees, I used to grind trees, used to do residential, commercial, all kinds of tree work. And you may be asking yourself, okay, cool, what does tree work have to do with bass fishing? Well, I'm about to explain that to you. So I live in Ohio. In Ohio, we have you know a very large seasonal swing, just like a lot of parts of the United States. In the, in the winter, it's very cold. And in the winter, all the leaves on the trees drop and it's just the bare tree, right? During the summer, you have you know, very hot weather and you have a ton of foliage on trees. You have a lot of leaves on the tree. So during tree work, what I saw is that during the summer when we would have a really bad storm come through, that is typically when we would have a number of trees get uprooted, get pushed and pulled, you would have big branches completely snap off of trees. And that happened during the summer. Now, during the winter, you would have some of these same type of wind storms come through and you wouldn't have near as many trees completely uprooting or, or tree trunks breaking off. Now, one of the big reasons for this is that during the summer, you have tr all your trees have a ton of leaves on them, right? And those leaves basically act as a giant sail, right? They catch the wind and they pull the tree over. There's a lot of volume in the tree. There's a lot of area for that wind to hit and to pull that tree over. Now, during the winter, when you have no leaves, you don't have that volume, you don't have that sail. And when the wind comes through, it just kind of goes right through the tree, right? There's nothing really to catch it. The branches aren't gonna really catch the wind like the leaves do. So getting back to bass fishing, that is why I think a trailer bait is better to use than a trailer hook. Let me explain. When a bass actually goes up to eat something, when it goes up to eat a fish, what it does is it, right before it eats that fish, it creates negative pressure in its mouth. And as it opens its mouth, it actually sucks that bait in. So a bass is literally creating like a current into its own mouth by, by creating that negative pressure, opening its mouth, it sucks it in. And you can see this on a lot of underwater videos of, of bass actually hitting things. It'll actually suck that bait right in. So to me, when you add a trailer bait onto your spinner bait or buzz bait, Basically what that is doing is putting leaves on the tree, right? It's creating volume, it's creating foliage, it's creating something that when that bass actually goes to suck that bait in, there's actually something there for the bass to pull in, right? There's volume there. There's something for that current that goes into that bass's mouth for that split second to actually catch onto, to hold onto. And that's what helps you to bring that hook inside the bass's mouth is that trailer. Now, if you have just a, a spinner bait with a trailer hook, there's not a lot of volume here, right? This is kind of like the tree that has no leaves on it. When a bass actually goes to suck this bait in, sure, it's gonna catch on a little bit, 
but it's not near the same as if you have a trailer bait on there where you have volume, where you have basically something for the for that bass to actually inhale. Does that make sense? So guys, really that's why I think a trailer bait is better than a trailer hook, right? The trailer bait has volume. It has something for that bass to actually suck in where basically when you have that spinner bait with just the trailer hook, it's like the wind blowing through a naked tree, right? The wind blowing through a tree during the winter, it's not gonna pull anything over because there's nothing for that wind to grab onto. That is what a spinner bait with no volume, with no foliage, with no trailer bait does. Now, growing up, I used to fish a spinner bait in the pond behind my house all the time, right? And I actually started using a spinner bait a lot to night fish with. I used to love fishing at night. And the interesting thing to me is that during the middle of the night, when I would night fish, I would, this was back in the day when I used to use nothing but a trailer hook. I would use a spinner bait just like this. I would buy it from the store. I would put a trailer hook on and that's all I would have. Now, what I found is that in the middle of the night, about 80% of the fish that I would catch would be hooked on the trailer hook. And at the time I used to think, man, if I wasn't using a trailer hook, I wouldn't have caught any of these fish. But then every now and then I would get lazy, right? And I would go out fishing and I would just not use a trailer hook. I would just use a spinner bait. And I found out that I would catch like the same amount of fish. Every time I'd go out, I'd catch six or seven bass, right? Like that's just what happened in the pond behind my house. All the fish would be hooked on the main hook, right? And sometimes I thought, man, if I would use a trailer hook tonight, I would have caught a ton more bass. But this is what I think happens, guys. I think that when a bass actually goes to eat a spinner bait with the trailer hook on it, that trailer hook actually kind of gets in the way of the main hook. And that's the reason why you get so many fish hooked on a trailer hook when you're using it is because they go to hit that bait and the trailer hook kind of just gets in the way. It gets to them first and that's why they get hooked on it. And I also feel the same way about a buzz bait. You kind of seen over the last several years that people are starting to use like a zoom horny toad or some sort of piece of plastic on their buzz bait. And guys, this is the exact same thing, right? When you put a piece of plastic like a horny toad on there, that gives that buzz bait volume, right? Now, when that fish goes to hit that bait, it gives it volume for them to actually suck it in. And that's why you see so many people using a horny toad. The bass actually tend to get a buzz bait better when it has a horny toad than when it's just a plain skirt. So in my opinion, like I said, I don't think that you need to use a trailer hook. I think that you're gonna hook a lot more bass with a trailer bait, just like I have here. I think that you're gonna get a lot of those fish hooked on the main hook, and that's because they have volume. When they, when they suck that bait in, there's volume to catch onto and bring that hook into their mouth. Now, there are two situations where I do think that using a trailer hook is actually a better option, and I'm gonna talk about that right now. Now, during the summer, one of my favorite ways to catch bass is actually on a spinnerbait. And what I love to do is actually, specifically for smallmouth, is I like to fish a spinnerbait extremely fast just below the surface of the water. I mean, you're cranking this thing in as fast as you can just below the surface of the water. And this is a great way to trigger some really big smallmouth into hitting your bait. Now with that being said, in that case, usually when, when you're fishing a bait that fast, the bass is coming up on it so fast that sometimes it just swats at the bait, right? It just tries to kill that bait so that the bait will flutter down and then it can actually suck in that fish. That's how it would kill a bait. So in that case, I actually don't use a trailer bait in that case. I like to use a trailer hook. And a lot of times in that situation, I actually take my trailer hook and I will turn it upside down so that it's facing below. So that as that fish is coming up on that bait, it's going to get that trailer hook in its mouth. Now, the other time I actually like to use a trailer hook versus using a trailer bait is actually when I'm fishing for kind of smaller bass. Now, where I'm from in Ohio, sometimes you're literally in some of these lakes, you're fishing for 12 inch bass, right? And their, their, bat, their mouth is about that big. And in that case, sometimes I've actually found that it's better to use a trailer hook versus a trailer bait because a littler bass and a little bass can't always suck in a bigger trailer bait as well as just hitting a spinner bait and getting hooked typically on the trailer hook.
So again, this is kind of my opinion. I think it makes sense to me. And again, I've seen it to work a lot better. So guys, I hope that helps you decide whether to use a trailer bait or a trailer hook, whether you're using a spinner bait or a buzz bait. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have a different opinion, I already know you're gonna leave it in the comment. If you have any questions, also leave those in the comments. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.